first, the top news headlines. MPCC observes 130th birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Manipur celebrates Children's Day with gaiety. And JLF appeals to neighboring states for cooperation. Welcome to Times of Manipur Television. You're watching the news today at 1 p.m. I'm loving with the news in details. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, MPCC, today fondly remembered former Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on his 130th birth anniversary at the Congress Bhavan, Imphal. PCC President Moirang Thim Okendro, party MLAs and workers were present on the occasion. Children's Day is celebrated across the country, commemorating the birth anniversary of India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, also known as Chacha Nehru. Speaking at the function, PCC Chief Moirangtem Okendro said that Congress is also celebrating Children's Day to commemorate the birth anniversary of Nehru. Talking about the current situation in Manipur arising out of the Indo-Naga peace talks, Okendro said that a state Congress delegation is now in New Delhi to meet party leadership and also the Prime Minister of India over the issue. Talking to media, PCC leader and Congress Working Committee CWC member Guy Kangam said that the Congress stand to protect the integrity of Manipur remains firm. The party welcomes a solution to the Naga problem, but it should be for a peaceful coexistence and not at the cost of Manipur's interest. Guy Kangam questioned the motive behind the heavy deployment of armed forces in the state in the wake of Indo Naga talks drawing to a closure. Department of Social Welfare, Government of Manipur, celebrated in Children's Day at Tribal Research Institute, Chingmeirong, today. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar, Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kipgen, and MLA of Kairau Constituency L. Rameshwar Singh attended the celebration where students from various schools across the state were present. Children's Day come annual day 2019 was observed today at SI School, Kanchipur, Imphal. Quiz competition and science exhibition were the main highlights of the program. Children's Day, also known as Bal Divas in India, is celebrated every year on 14th of November to increase the awareness of people towards the rights, care and education of children. The Joint Legislators Forum on Naga Political Issue and both Member of Parliament representing Nagaland has appealed to the people of neighbouring states to extend all possible cooperation so that the Indo-Naga peace process can conclude in a successful manner that will in turn enable peace and stability in the entire region, according to media reports. This was one of the resolutions adopted during the consultative meeting held on Wednesday at Rhododendron Hall Police Complex, Chumur Kedima, a press statement issued by Naglan Legislative Assembly Secretariat Secretary K. Sekose said. The House also appealed the neighbouring states for building trust and confidence so that all can live peacefully under an environment of mutual coexistence and cooperation. While welcoming the reported successful conclusion of negotiations between the Government of India and the Naga national political groups, the House extended sincere appreciation to the negotiating parties for making sacrifices and for understanding the realities of the given situation. 
At the same time, the House appealed to the Working Committee of the Naga National Political Groups and the NSCN IM to sit across the negotiating table and bury all differences for the greater good of the Naga people and further appealed to all other groups who are not on board to join the peace process. Now let's take a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Nanai Day Spa and Salon Special offer to welcome winter of 2019 30% discount pijari November gitang taratagi Kun fao ba khakta mag pizza ba discount ni Pizza riba services singde Haircut, facial, hair spa, foot detox Micro needling treatment for face Body spa and scrub Far infrared sauna for detoxification asina ching mani Extra charges yao dana yum da lakto na service to pijari Ayuk pung taratagi Numidang wairam pung taru pao ba hangzari Ngasi maglang sin biro Nanai Day Spa and Salon New check on road, SBI ATM building near Globis. Contact number 0385-2447383. Natraga 2447385. Hayo, Kamaina State a secret examination the Nanga Tof or Ribanoba. I know so can you honour about a two opposition and Manu for what's under bar. Larry Yamna Pavana so Larry Yamna Higani, Mark Yampangani have the Langani. I could put up with a miriba or Sasing Dogi way of teaching and guidelines sing Dogi Makayam upon Rana Kali was a Sangdo Nargumse. Nasiya na may pak nisa. Mukta tutorials sa kritik pisa. Mukta tutorials. Handa kyo na class ten na mabre twelve thaga dawa students ng revision class. Lakliwa na bimba fourteen ng house area kani. Center asida hena kudong chaba amana subject amagi course fee sub na tagi lupalishing ahum chamga na oy kani. Kaubira kano mukta tutorials. Kwa katil may ay koy bi opposite Millennium Institute of Science. Yung wad. Sukto ba nulo di? Wab do kong na ba revelance? Sukto ba do kong na ba revelance? Rebalance na haksang isol ang mga electrolytes sing di awat pa mekato na Adong gi haksang mo tagat tagat tig na tambang ang mali Rebalance ay ba di? Electrolytes ang mga di energy Smart Tutorial Center Revision course for class 12 will start from 11 November and for class 10 from 12 December 2019 Run by well-trained and experienced board and council teachers Concession for ex-smart students Transport facilities and separate hostels for boys and girls available. For more details, please contact Smart Tutorial Center, Singzamoy Supermarket, Radhishyam Shopping Complex. Contact number 8730-999-192. Welcome back after the break. The first district level painting competition for classes 1 to 8 on the team Safe Environment was held today at Kurai Ningtobung Lekai Community Hall, Imphal East. Dinsit Road Youth Sport and Cultural Association, Triska, organized the program. Altogether, 180 students from different schools across the Imphal East participated in the competition. Speaking to Tom TV, Triska President W. Jiban asserted that such competition spreads awareness amongst the young students regarding the environmental issue that everyone is facing today. Prizes for the competition will be announced on November 17 by the club, he added. Arunachal Pradesh Governor, retired Brigadier B.D. Mishra and Chief Minister Pema Khandu have extended their warm greetings on the joyous occasion of Children's Day being celebrated today across the country. The celebrations commemorate the birth anniversary of the country's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. The Governor in his message said every adult in the nation owes it to, the, to her or his child to provide her or him with the best facilities to grow up in a healthy and happy atmosphere. While Chief Minister Kandu in his message said Baldiwas is a day to increase awareness about the rights and education of children. A series of petitions seek a reconsideration of the judgment of September 2018 that lifted the bar on women of menstruating age from worshipping in the Sabari Mala temple in Kerala. Political parties, right-wing outfits and devotees in Kerala are keeping their fingers crossed as the Supreme Court is set to pronounce its verdict on pleas seeking review of its decision to allow entry of women of all age groups in the Sabari Mala temple today. The southern state had witnessed high drama and protests by devotees and right-wing activists last year against the CPIM-led LDF government's decision to implement the top court's order. 
The Supreme Court on Thursday refused to change its December 2018 verdict that dismissed pleas seeking a court-monitored probe of alleged irregularities in the rupees 59,000 crore Rafale fighter jet deal with French plane maker Dassault Aviation. Dismissing a batch of petitions seeking a review of the order, the top court bench of Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi, SK Cole and KM Joseph said we cannot lose sight of the fact we are dealing with contract pending with government for long. Prayer made by petitioner was for registration of FIR and CBI inquiry. This is not a fresh examination as they were considered earlier on merit. Justice KM Joseph Though concurring with the order, authored his own view saying probe agencies can go ahead and investigate the matter on their own. The bench had earlier reserved its verdict on the review petitions on May 10. Former Union Ministers Yashwan Sinha and Arun Shori and lawyer Prashant Bhushan were among those who had filed the review pleas. And now let's take a look at the sports news. Indian para-athlete Nishat Kumar recorded a personal best of 2 meters to claim the bronze medal in men's high jump T47 final at the Dubai World Para-Athletics Championships and also secure his place in the 2020 Tokyo Paralympic Games. Nishat's medal booked India's ninth slot for the Tokyo Games. This was India's third bronze and six medals overall, one better than 2017 London Worlds. India had won five medals in the 2017 edition. Nishad led the pact from the start clearing the bar first at 1.75 to 1.97 men's high jump before China's Hongji Chen pushed him with a 2 meters jump. But the USA's Rio Paralympic champion and world record holder Roderick Townsend Roberts cleared the bar just once at 2.03 meters to take the gold. Chen settled for silver. India coach Satya Narayana, who trained Mariyapan Thangavelu to Rio 2016 gold, said Nishat has a lot of potentials and will be the one of the strong prospects for India in Tokyo 2020. Bob and Mike Bryan, the greatest doubles pair in the history of tennis, have announced that they will end what they describe as a magical ride in 2020 after one more crack at the US Open. The 41-year-old Californian twins, famous for their trademark chest bump celebration, will bid farewell at Flushing Meadows, scene of their Grand Slam debut in 1995, playing almost exclusively with each other throughout their 25 years' careers. The Bryans captured a professional era record 118 titles, including 16 Grand Slam titles, 39 ATP Masters 1000s, and the ATP Finals title four times. The Bryans also won Olympic gold at London 2012 and were a part of the US Davis Cup winning team in 2007. Mike claimed two more Grand Slam titles with Jack Sock in 2018 after Bob was sidelined with a hip injury. Now let's take a look at the local newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express. Kokomi refuses to fight assurance of Amit Saha. CPI rally demands session. Details of talks. Why is CM scared of convening assembly session? Asks Zoykishin. JLF urges NSN IM and NPCs to talk. The People's Chronicle. Cops protesters heard as Tors rally turns ugly. JLF seeks help of neighbors to end Naga problem. Protests continue despite CM's appeal for calm. Congress MLS in Delhi to seal step from Naga Talks fallout. Infall free press. Make agenda clear before inviting stakeholders for consultations, says Kokomi. Not calling assembly session is suppressing people's voice, says Zoykishin. Videns move to celebrate Sangai Fest highly insensitive, says CPI. The morning bell. 
reluctance to convene assembly session reflects government ignorance of public sentiment, says Zerkishan. Congress delegation rushes to New Delhi to lobby with center. Cops charged with extrajudicial killing moves High Court for transfer of case. Ruckus during peaceful alert rally in Wangzing. MLS wife terms it unfortunate. AYWO slams individuals for creating ruckus. Manipur Mail Congress seeks Yadurafa's resignation over Supreme Court adjustment. Pay more, take care of workers, says Manju. 18 injured in highway accident. Before we end the bulletin, the top news headlines once again. MPCC observes 130th birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Manipur celebrates Children's Day with gaiety. And JLF appeals to neighbouring states for cooperation. That's all for the news today at 1pm. Thank you for watching.